Let us discuss today the third kind of variation, which is joint variation. Joint variation occurs when a variable varies directly with multiple variables. So, para lang siyang direct variation. But in joint variation, we have here multiple variables. And for instance, if x varies directly with both y and c, it will be translated into x equals kyc, where k again is the constant of variation. All the situation given here are situation that illustrates joint variation. Let us consider the first one. The area A of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base and altitude or H. If we are going to translate that into an equation, the area of a parallelogram, so we have A equals varies jointly, so para lang siyang direct variation, so we have K, the constant of variation, as the base B and altitude H, so A is equal to KBH. And also for number 2, the volume of a cylinder V varies jointly as its height h and the square of radius r. If we are going to translate that, it will give us the volume varies jointly as the height and the square of the radius. So we will be having r squared. Again, v is equal to k h r squared. And for the third one, the h, the heat, produced by an electric lamp varies jointly as the resistance R and the square of the current I. If we are going to translate that, it will give us H is equal to K. The resistance is capital R and then the current is a small I, but we have here the square of the current, so we will having squared. Again, H is equal to K R I squared. Let us have examples in solving problems involving joint variation. So the first one is, Z varies jointly as X and Y, and Z is 60 when X is 5 and Y is 6. You are going to look for number 1, Z when X is 7 and Y is 6. For letter B, find X when Z is 72 and Y is 4. And then for letter C, we have find Y when Z is 80 and X is equal to 4. And another problem, which is a word problem, the area of a triangle varies jointly as the base and the height. A triangle with a base of 8 cm and a height of 9 cm has an area of 36 square centimeters. So the question is, find the area when the base is 10 and the height is 7. Let us answer the first one. Again, in answering, translate into an equation, solve for the constant of variation, write the equation, then you are going to solve for the unknown. To translate, we have here the expression, y varies jointly as x and y. So in an equation, the translation will become z is equal to kxy. Then we are going to solve for k using the values z is 60, x is 5, and y is 6. So let us find the value of k. So the given z is 60, so we have here 60, and then our x is 5, we have there 5, and our y is 6, so we have there 6. To simplify, we will be having 60 equals k times 5 times 6 will give us 30 K. And to simplify that, we are going to divide both sides by 30, which means that the value of K is 2. And if the value of K is 2, then the equation of variation is Z is equal to 2XY. We just use the translation again, and then we substitute the value of K. We are going to use this equation of variation to find Z, to find X, and to find Y. For letter A, again, we have find Z when X is 7 and Y is 6. We are going to use the equation of variation. Therefore, we will be having Z is equal to 2XY, wherein the value of X is 7 and the value of Y is 6. And to simplify, it will become Z is equal to 84. 2 times 7 is 14, 14 times 6 is 84. So the answer in letter A is 84. Let us now solve for letter B. 
Find x when z is 72 and y is equal to 4. This time around, the unknown is x. Again, we are going to use the same equation of variation. z is equal to 2xy. We are going to substitute the value of x, which is 72. z, I mean, which is 72. And the value of y is 4. Therefore, we will be having z is 72 and then y is 4. If we simplify further, it will become 72 equals 8x. And to simplify, you are going to divide both sides by 8. So it will give us x is equal to 9. So the answer for letter B is that x is equal to 9. And then lastly, let us answer letter C. It says find y when z is 80 and x is 4. Again, you're going to use our equation of variation, which is z is equal to 2xy. If we are going to substitute, the value of z is 80 and the value of x is 4. It will give us 80 is equal to 8y. And if we simplify, it will mean that y is equal to 10. So y here is equal to 10. This time around, let us answer the second problem. I will read it again. The area of a triangle varies jointly as the base and height. A triangle with a base of 8 cm and height of 9 cm has an area of 36 square cm. Find the area when the base is 10 and the height is 7. You are just going to follow these steps. So if you are going to translate the area of the triangle varies jointly as the base and height, our equation will become, yes, correct, A is equal to KB. H. And to solve for K on the problem, it says the base is 8, the height is 9, the area is 36 square centimeters. Therefore, we will be having the area is 36, the base is 8, and then the height is 9. Let us simplify. It will become 36 equals K times 8 times 9 is 72. And for us to simplify this, we are going to divide both sides by 72. Yes, you are going to divide both sides by 72. And if we are going to do that, then the value of K will become 1 half. So if K is equal to 1 half, then the equation of variation is A is equal to 1 half BH. This is the equation that we are going to use for us to solve for the unknown. The unknown is the area, given is the base is 10 and the height is 7. So we are going to substitute A, then 1 half, base is 10, and then the height is 7. If we simplify, A is equal to 1 half, 10 times 7 is 70, and 1 half of 70 is 35. Now what do we mean by this 35? Therefore, if the base is 10 cm and the height is 7 cm, it means that the area is 35 square cm. That's it for joint variation. Thank you for watching.